This news statewide from Super Tuesday is what happened to the Speaker of the Texas House, Dade Phelan. He is fighting for his political life this morning, forced into a runoff. One Republican from East Texas texted me overnight to say the surprise is not that Phelan is in a runoff. The surprise, he said, is that Phelan was not defeated. Tanya Eiser is in Southeast Texas this morning. She covered the Phelan campaign for us on Super Tuesday. Tanya, this is a stunning fall for Phelan and certainly a big win for Attorney General Ken Paxton, Lieutenant Dan Patrick, Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick, and others who supported David Covey. Oh, it sure is. You know, our colleague Jason Wheeler has been calling this Ken Paxton's revenge tour. And in this race, it looks like this intraparty warfare may end up claiming Speaker Dade Phelan's uh, job. And though, though far from clear how this runoff is going to turn out, the fact that he's even going into a runoff with challenger David Covey sent shockwaves last night. As you mentioned, Jason uh, Paxton, Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick, and former President Donald Trump, they all endorsed Covey, largely over Phelan's support of impeaching Paxton. Governor Greg Abbott, now he was angry over the House not passing vouchers. He stayed out of the race. And uh, obviously with all the returns uh, in, we saw how, how, these, how it ended up with Phelan trailing Covey. And last night, Phelan issued a fiery statement. He says, against a tidal wave of outside influence and the relentless flood of special interest dollars pouring into House District 21, our campaign emerges today still standing strong against the tides that have sought to unseat me. This runoff is not just another race. It's the front line of the battle for the soul of our district. And some would say it's also a battle for the soul of the Republican Party. Phelan's statement refers to the West Texas billionaires that have helped fund Covey's campaign and other primary opponents of the House Republican incumbents throughout the state. Now here is Covey's equally fiery response. The establishment in Austin has become comfortable ignoring the wishes of Texans, and these egregious acts have been led by one man, and that man is the man we will defeat, Speaker Dade Phelan. <laughs> Now, as Speaker, Phelan's record had included a passage of one of the strictest abortion laws in the country, permit, permitless carry, and other long sought after conservative priorities. He'd also brought home hundreds of millions of dollars to his district. In the before times, that likely would have been enough to carry him to an easy victory, but not so today. And it remains to be seen what's going to happen in the May runoff. Back to you, Jason. All right, Tanya, thanks for that. You know what's fascinating about the picture we just saw there, Cleo, yeah. is that Dan Patrick was Standing in the right background there in Beaumont with uh, with David Covey. So that, that's fascinating to see. You've been watching these county by county races. Phelan's not the only one mm -hmm. in trouble. And you gave this term the revenge tour, right? Because We've been talking about it for a while, yeah. Honestly, because Paxton's trying to knock out anyone that supported his impeachment. Sure. And then Abbott, well, he didn't want to support anyone that didn't want the school vouchers. Yeah. So here we are right now in Beaumont. And, and Phelan does have some deep roots here. I mean, there's streets named after some of his family members. Right, exactly. And, and you know, there are a number of counties here, but the, the surprise last night as the votes were coming in is that Kobe got off to an early start yeah. early on and he maintained it the entire time. Right, Kobe backed by Abbott as Paxton as well and former President Donald Trump. So we're showing you the numbers here heading to a runoff as well. We're going to